it'll fill the entire screen. Um, I recommend putting the um, the taskbar for Windows on the right hand monitor. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what it was before. Okay, it, um, so that allows this to be there. Somebody, somebody changed it. Uh, once you have this up, it doesn't doesn't start anything until you choose the Mode Master template. So the Mode Master template is the, the mode you're going to be operating in. I mean, during the talks this morning, you saw contact mode, tapping mode, fluid imaging, surface potential, EFM, all those different kinds of techniques. They're all going to be located in this Mode Master. And if you look, each one, if you hover over the button, will have a brief description of what that mode means. So for example, like SKPM, it talks about briefly what I had spoken about. Let's do that. Can, can everybody see that? Better. Okay. So initially, uh, we'll just do this AC air topography. Okay. So AC is tapping mode. This is another word for it. Um, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, it looks like it's detected the, the heater controller. I'm not going to do anything with it right now, but okay. that's that's a good sign. Oh, that's yeah. no, that's the BCH. Okay, it's, that's it's the. It's by default. I think it's open. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah. You don't control any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and just to sort of let everybody know what this is, that this gigantic thing on the side right here, that's actually a temperature controller for the entire fluid. Uh -huh. um, so okay. if you are doing yeah. yeah, if you're doing a long term experiment where you're you want to keep everything the same temperature for a long time and you don't want drift, you don't want your sample or the head or anything moving around, that right there is built for that. Um, I won't go into details right now, but if you do find that drift is too big on your sample, sometimes that can be helped by controlling the temperature within the entire chain. Okay? That's what that is. Alright, so once you have this open, um, if you don't have the software open, the laser will not turn on. Without the laser, you can't operate the AFM. If you don't turn this switch to on, everybody see that? Yeah. The laser won't turn on and you can't operate the AFM. So you have to have the software open and the laser on in order to operate the AFM. Uh, once you have that open, we can bring up the camera. So down here, it says video. It looks like a camera. Looks like an old school camera. So you click on that. Now it should figure out which one it is, which camera is the right camera. Um, it's possible that it won't. See that brightness? So that means that is the right camera. Okay. If for some reason you come up and you just get a purple screen or a blue screen or something strange like that, you can go to the inputs and you make sure that the S video, the very first S video, is the one that's selected. There's only five. So if you don't get it, like if it does, if you don't have a picture, it's not going to take you that long to figure out which one it is. Try them all, okay? All right. So then. Um, I'm going to get a probe and load the probe up. So when you lift this head, there's a sort of a clean area here and a clean area here that you, that's, there's nothing there on either side that you can lift it with. So I've seen people go like this. It's not a good idea, right? There's a good, good way to drop the head unless you've got a Kung Fu grip. Right. So come here, lift up, rotate it over, and set it down. Okay. Now you notice that motion I did. This is important in a multi-user facility. Right. I lifted this up from here, and I took it the shortest possible route over to here. I did not do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you keep doing that, you will twist this off, and you will have a broken ground. This might be a broken ground. I'll have to check this, but this looks like that wire might be broken. Um, we'll see. Alright, so again, lift this up, 
turn it over this way and set it down. That allows you to take out the cantilever holders. Okay? Now, on the stage here, these larger knobs, these micrometers, these adjust the position of the entire base and the entire AFM relative to the inverted optical microscope. Okay? That's what these do. These two adjust the position of the sample relative to the AFM tip. Okay? So these knobs move the sample relative to the tip mm -hmm. and to the microscope, the inverted optical. These move the entire AFM relative to the inverted optical microscope. So if you were using the inverted, op inverted optical microscopes, scope, the, the, the steps would be to first load a tip, align the upper optics so that you can see the probe, align the laser, then adjust the base of this so that you've aligned the inverted optical axis with the AFM tip. Right? So that would be the order of that because you can't align this until you have everything set up here. For now, we're not going to do anything with the inverted op optical microscope. Just consider it as a passive base holding it. I'm just going to teach you the AFM part. Okay. So we're missing the cantilever holder now, so I've got to find it. Looks like it's over there. Uh, generally speaking, and I don't know about this one specifically, but these are the Kellef holders. The earliest models of these were only compatible with their AFM, right? So if this is the one that goes with that AFM, it's not compatible with this. And any other ones that went with that one are not compatible with this, because this is older. Um, that's even before I came to the company in 2004. So it's, it's got some pretty egregious hacks on it. Okay. So for now, don't use this. The blue one is the one that came with this AFM. And any future tip holders that you get are fully compatible with this. Um, the reason behind it is we used to not jig those. A jig is something that, that sets spacings and stuff like that. So each one was custom built for the head. But now, since about 2005, 2006, every single holder is jigged for the AFM. Okay? All right. So we call this the cantilever holder, okay? Just to give you terms, that's the controller, you know the computer, that's the environmental controller, that's the automatic temperature controller, air temperature controller. This is the scanner, the black part I showed you guys in the, in the talks. This is the head, okay? A lot of people confuse this and call it the head. This is the cantilever holder or the probe holder. This is the head. This is the scanner. This part right here is called the base. Right? So if you're calling somebody and they say, well, check that the cable is in the base, that's these. Right? And if they say, well, check that the, that the window in the cantilever holder is clean, that's the little window there. It's a little prism in there. And then uh, you check the back part too. Okay? So, um, again, any new accessories you get will be compatible with this, will not be compatible with that. So that one right there is carved in stone and it can't change, right? This one, new accessories, everything else, so it's a more updated version. Okay, so once you have a tip holder, you want to put a probe in. Um, I'm just going to grab... Hey, you're fine.